Okay, our second alternative white wine today would be um, the Stat Krems, which is the, uh, um, that's the name of the vineyard. It's in Austria. I've actually been to this vineyard, and it's a Gruner Vettliner. Um, some of these wines are a little harder to pronounce than the average Chardonnay, but Gruner Vettliner is one of my all-time favorite white grapes. It's a very spicy, um, kind of balanced between a city, uh, acidity and, uh, and, and a sweetness that comes from fruit flavors, not from sugar. So this has a lot of uh, Mirabelle plum and lemon and lime flavors in there, but it's balanced with kind of like a, a miso yeasty thing going on. It's just a fabulous, fabulous wine. I like drinking this on its own. It's a very good food wine and it handles interesting flavors really well, like hot peppers, Thai food, uh, Japanese, Chinese. <clears throat> you can use this with uh, all of those flavors. It's also just fabulous by itself. I like it as an aperitif sometimes before dinner um, or even after. Uh, sometimes it's like a little dessert fix because it does give that off dry um, sort of hint when you when you taste it but it's again it's one of my favorite white wines of all time and I, sh I, I failed to mention these wines are very very inexpensive um, they're great value um, I don't think they're gonna be more than twelve dollars a glass something like that so they're they're not expensive and they're just fabulous alternatives to um, the usual wines that people drink and again I'm not saying if you love Sauvignon Blanc don't drink it I, absolutely do but give these a shot because it may it may just open up your your mind a little bit to what's out there because there's a tremendous amount of uh, juice out there now that people aren't aware of